In the music business, there is only one Clive Davis, only one Berry Gordy, and only one Norman Chesky. We are honored to welcome Norman Chesky into the Miami Beach Senior High School Hall of Fame. Clive Davis, <laughs> Barry Gordy, Norman Chesky, whoever the student was that put this video together, I want to hire as my PR agent. <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, I got, there was photos I haven't thought of in years, and uh, they even had one of my nephew's bar mitzvah. <laughs> and, and by the way, you know, I was never bar mitzvah, and it just occurred to me. This is probably the closest thing I'm ever going to have to having a bar mitzvah. You know, when I think about it now, I mean, really, we're in a temple, right? This is a temple. And, and several of the people I invited here today, I actually, you know, went to elementary school and then junior high, so if I was having a bar mitzvah, I wouldn't want to be here. I get to give a speech. But to make it more festive, I think I'm going to do it in Hebrew. <laughs> wow, that's a... Anyway, uh, seriously, you know, I, I did take Hebrew for two years when I went to Beach High. And for the first six months, I thought it was a Spanish class. So. <laughs> and uh, so I, I, I want to I thank the video people for leaving out the part that I wasn't the best student when I went to Beach High. As a matter of fact, I, I had one counselor who actually predicted I was going to end up working in a toll booth in the exact change lane. <laughs> that is true. So, so I've got to tell you how honored I really am to be here. This is, this is really amazing. And I just, so I want, to thank, I want to thank Becky and the nominating committee for, for selecting me in this great group of inductees. Um, I also want to thank my family, uh, my older brother Jeffrey, who's also in the Hall of Fame and a very big advocate for this whole thing. I want to thank my sister Doralee and my brother David, who couldn't make it here today because we've been working on a streaming service, but he was my, it's been my partner for 40 years since we both came to New York. And um, I really wish my mother Betty could have been here. She would have just loved this to be able to, you know, to be able to brag about her son. That was, uh, and, um, I would also like to acknowledge uh, two teachers from Beach High. One of them is Jay Jensen, who was a really great inspiration to me. And the other one is, uh, the second teacher is the late Doug Burris, who started the Beach High Rock Club. And uh, strange as it may seem, I never actually had Mr. Burris as a teacher, and yet he played a very big part of my life. And that's because um, I met, Mr. Burris was actually you know, one of the first people to tell my brother David that he could actually have a great career in music and that he should go to New York City. And if it wasn't for Mr. Burris, my brother and I may never have gotten into the music business. So, I want to thank you. Uh, I said many times to people that I've really been very lucky to be raised on Miami Beach and to be able to get such a great education by attending public schools. To this day, it kind of bums me out when I hear so many people say that they need to send their kids to private school. Because when I went to Beach High, you know, every kid, whether you were rich or poor, everybody wanted to go to Beach High. And back in my day, if you went to a private school, we just assumed you had a drug problem. <laughs> The majority of the students went on to college and careers, and I believe that trend is still continuing, because I want to share something. As an example, I have a good friend here, Myrna Dower, and her, who graduated in my class of 76, and her youngest son, Jesse, graduated Beach High 35 years after us in the class of 2011, and he went straight to MIT. And he's now working on a PhD at MIT, and I have no doubt that one day he's going to be up here getting an award from the Beach High Hall of Fame. So, my point is, imagine from Beach High to MIT, Beach High must be doing something right. And you two are up. Um, 
I would like to thank my good friend Desmond Childs for nominating me for me to be inducted there. Desmond is one of the world's greatest songwriters who happens to be both in the Beach High Hall of Fame as well as the Songwriter Hall of Fame. And I guess if you can write songs like Living Under Prayer for Bon Jovi or Living the Viva Loca for Ricky Martin, you're entitled to be in two Hall of Fame. <laughs> I'd like to give a shout out to Bubba Cohn, another Beach High Hall of Famer, and who was also the coach of the 75 football team, or assistant coach, who made it to the state championship, by the way. They didn't win, but I, I never forgot that there was a great year at 75. And uh, Bubba was actually nice enough to bring me to, the, uh, to, to meet the students at Beach High. You know, finally, I also want to just acknowledge we make a lot of friends that we grow up with, but also from our professional career. And I would like to acknowledge two of my closest friends from my professional life. Del Bryant, who is the former CEO of BMI, he flew in from Nashville. And I also want to thank my good friend Corey Robbins, who flew in from New York. And when you're walking around South Beach and you see all those Run DMC t-shirts, you can thank him for that because it was Corey that signed Run DMC, one of the most famous rap break groups of all time. And to wrap things up, I've been very lucky and I've been blessed and I've had a long career. I've made over 500 albums, but my best production, production is yet to come. I want to give out a shout out to my better half, Suzanne. We're having our daughter, Lana, in the next few months, our first child, and I couldn't think of a more beautiful person.